Where it is best, he glides past the thing. Welcome, everyone, on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And what we're getting ready to bring you is live action from Liga. It's Stade de Reims up against Rennes. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Marshal Munetzi. And this might not be the ideal situation for them. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Well, here's how Rennes will line up for this match. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the Oh, set? Stuart, opportunity here. That was going in. Who's going to get on the end of it? And dealt with it nicely. Determined defending. Well, that is how to play advantage. Deflected behind, corner forthcoming. Not the best clearance. Straight forward for the keeper. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. And an astute piece of defending. He could pick out a teammate. He'll have a go here. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Clears it away. Well, that was a bit unlucky, because you just get the feeling they need to make the most of one of these chances. Could be. And saved by the keeper. And he takes it on. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Just couldn't get it through. Terrific piece of anticipation. And the short option preferred. And the referee has given it. It will be a penalty. Can they forge ahead? This to make it 1-0. A goal! Accurate from the spot. Well, as you can hear, the fans think that should have been a penalty, but I'm not convinced. A bit wasteful in possession from Rennes. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Santa Maria. Going well. Can he do it? Oh, goodness me, he set the post. And he's fired over the corner. Not increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. Just over the top in the end. Foké. Richardson. Good weight on that pass. 
tremendously strong in the tackle. Being egged on by the crowd. Oh, the goalkeeper did well to hang on to that one. Terrier. Well, half-time coming up shortly, and the home side on top. Stuart, interested to get your critique. Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going in at half-time if it stays like this. And he has options available. Is it going to be? Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. To make it 2-0. And the keeper denies them from the spot. A chance then for the respective. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. And threading it through. And he might be in here. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and they just need to keep the concentration. Well, a joy to watch. And take it away, he won the ball. Incisive pass, can he keep his composure? Enzo Lefe. Just the challenge that was required. Really nice ball. Promising possession, this. Pretty simple for the keeper. Arno Calimuendo. Well, we're into the final half hour. Nicely timed tackle. This looks promising. And the pass deftly cut out. Counter attacking chance. So a throw in here. Released it nicely. Mike. It should be! And how about that for a save? Taken short. And it's played into the centre. The chance is on. And defensive play to be applauded. And saved by the keeper. And into the last 15 minutes of action. That's a good looking ball. And he's in. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. A lopsided contest. 4 0. Determined defending. Richardson. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Not made it look routine, but read it well. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, it looked so promising, but it all comes to nothing. Arno Calimuendo. Terrier. 
Is it going to be? And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. The keeper going in the right direction and saving it. Trying to deliver it accurately. Just over the crossbar with that effort. Oh, that's a really good pass. Chance here. Crucial piece of defending. Rewarded for that brilliant high press. Will he finish? Oh, how about that for a tackle? And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. You're absolute. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Yeah, all smiles as he grabs the match ball. He just had too much for the opposition today. They just couldn't handle it. Oh
sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live coverage of this League Art match. It is Rennes up against Monaco. And the keeper had the measure of that one. And let's have a look at the Monaco starting lineup. Alexander Golovin plays with Takumi Minamino out wide. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And he's broken free. Oh, he couldn't finish it off. And the keeper wasn't exactly perfectly positioned. Well, that's a bad miss. He had so much of the goal to aim for. That was a really big chance. Oh, getting the ball forward. But timely defending when it mattered. Garavine. And a tidy ball. He has time to play it over. Has eyes for goal. Oh, that is a goal from long range. He won't soon forget. Absolutely right out of the top drawer. Zakaria. He has teammates around him. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And the post denied him. Zakaria might be a chance here. And there it is! Two goals! Terrier. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Minamino. Crossing opportunity. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Played over. And a goal this time. Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Braille Embolo. And behind it's gone for a corner. Showing ambition. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Well, smuggled behind for another corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. And he clears the danger. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Oh, what an opportunity. He had to score, and he does. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. get one back oh another one for them and with plenty of time still remaining this game is very much back on and a timely intervention is it going to be and there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. But he's got past his man. Had a chance to whip it in here. And that's a corner. Who can they pick out? Well, he took care of it defensively. Long way out there. My goodness, that save, fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Oh, super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. This has been a top-class display today. Just look how many chances they've created. And if they want to, they could score a hat full of goals here. Yes, they're having a field day in attack. And here they come again. Must be. Can he finish here? 
Excellent block. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to... Away they go again. Second half is underway here. And the defensive intervention there. Plenty of support here. And the clearance over the byline means a corner. Oh, he fancies his chances. And hit with ferocity. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, no damage done. Terrier. Well timed tackle. Embolo. Breaking at pace. Oh, big chance. Can they slot at home? Braille Embolo. Good work from Stade René to win back possession. Might really be able to trouble them here. And a good-looking ball. And there's a quality defender in action. He must finish. And diving to thwart him. Good piece of ball winning. Now they might be onto something. And he's won the ball. Could be dangerous. Terrier. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Van der Son. Nicely cut out. Enzo Lefay. Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. They need to make the most of this corner. Could reduce the deficit. And still danger here. Clears it away. Well, that would have made it interesting, but the keeper has done brilliantly there. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Well, when you have the lead, you can play in this manner, keeping the ball like this. Good movement, and nicely struck. Oh, from miles out, he's done it! How about that for a pure strike? Terrific technique! Wondrous! Braille Embolo. And the ball back with Ren now. Might work out. Can they convert? And there is the goal to make it a hat trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. Terrier. And he's gone into an illegal position, unfortunately. And we've entered the final five minutes. That's a good-looking shot. Oh, what a goal! A tremendous strike. Hard to believe that he elected to take on that shot. Absolutely brilliant. Mina Mina. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of them. That just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me.
we simply have to focus on this man. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And what we're getting ready to bring you is live action from Liga. It's Toulouse up against Monaco. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set. Two good... Goodness gracious me! How about that for technique? You can't strike them much better than that! Getting forward. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Galavine. Oh, that's a fine save. Trying to deliver it accurately. Half hearted clearance. Oh, could be. Well, what a stop it was. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent save. That's a top-class piece of goalkeeping. Oh, that's not a good clearance. Well, no way through in the end. And play halted, free kick given. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Chance to do damage. But nothing comes of it. Here's Traore. And fine work from Monaco to win the ball back. Cutting the ball back. And it's in! The back in front! Stunning scenes here! Well read to put an end to that attack. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Galavine. Vincent Sierro. Incisive pass. Not putting so much effort into winning back possession. Opportunity to level it. Opportunity here. Oh, good save. They favoured a short one here. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Can he convert? Still alive. Oh, the overhead kick. Pure athleticism. Wonderful goal. Mina Mina. Well, they know they need to stop him. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. Now well, the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? Sound piece of defending. Now the quick counter attack could be on. What to like about that pass? Well, no problems defensively. Losing possession. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. And continues his run. Might jump in front. And his eyes lit up in anticipation of his third goal of the game. Well, the way he's finished today, that was a decent chance. But you just sense the hat-trick is coming. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out.
Well, there's an example of how to press high up. And there it is, a chance. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for him. And all doing their bit to keep them out. A good effective pressure high up the pitch. Good through ball. Now mopping up defensively. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Balogun. Mina Mino. And a chance to level it. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Moving forward effectively. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. Just cutting off the supply. Outrageously skillful. Could play it in. Terrific block. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. And the short option preferred. Well, clearing it away, but at the expense of a corner. Over it comes. Clearing it away. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. 20 minutes to go. Aaron Dunum. Zakaria. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Has eyes for goal. Still could be dangerous. Chance to set up an equaliser from the corner. And over it comes. And he's done it. Parity again. A magnificent game unfolding. Vanderson. Well timed tackle. Ben Yedder. Mina Mino. And a chance for the lead. Not out of the woods yet. Well, they can keep possession now. Dunum. Taken away, he won the ball. And that'll be Monaco's throw in. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Counter attacking, very much an option. Zakaria. Minamino must take the lead here. Oh, a vital piece of last ditch defending. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Oh, they could clinch it. A smart stop here. And the teams are level, and every corner counts at this juncture. Who's going to get on the end of it? Just over the crossbar with that effort.
Our cameras on one man. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live coverage of this Ligue 1 match. It's Stade de Reims, and they take on Toulouse. Can he put it in? Well, he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. And a look at the starting lineup for Reims. Well, if they're going to play as a 4 4 2, they must make sure they stay compact out of possession and then stretch the pitch when they do have the ball. How they play in transition is going to be key today. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, it looks to be the same system here, so it's just a case of which team presses the ball better and which team can get their wide players into more advanced areas. There are some good matchups here. Oh, it's developing nicely for them here. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And the decision offside here. Marshal Munetzi. Possession one. Well, that one has promise. Oh, good vision. It just needs to remain icy cool. And there it is! Two goals in a matter of minutes. Incredible stuff. Traore. Sierra. Aaron Dunum. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Well, he's certainly not alone. But really sticking to their task defensively. Incisive pass. This looks interesting. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Trying to pick out a teammate. No problems for the keeper. Well timed tackle. And back now with Costa. Dunum. Niklas Schmidt took a chance here. Oh, did so well to deny him. And that was a very fine read. That's useful play. Timely intervention. Well, they have the advantage. That's good refereeing. Genuine chance. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. And passing it through. A glorious chance. And foiled only by the crossbar. It has to be, surely. Opportunity. And still danger here. And in at the second time of asking. Just what was required. So back underway here into the second half. We're racing away here. Into the advanced position. 
Cuts it back. And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. Monetzi. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Traore. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Really good build up, but no end product. Will he play it in? Veering in field here. Oh, surely. Oh, another one for them. And with plenty of time still remaining, this game is very much back on. And into the last 30 minutes now. Niklas Schmidt. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Good looking sequence. Sends it back. And a goal! They've increased their lead and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Very quick thinking there. Nakamura. Darami. Oh, that's a fine pass. Shot attempted. Well, the post got in the way. Well, no way through in the end. Well, the woodwork has just denied them a three-goal lead here. But you just can't see them throwing this one away, can you? Feeding it through. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Teammates available, but they dealt with the threat posed. An effective challenge. Good visualisation and execution. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Keen to take it short here. Munetzi. Abdelhami. Can he take the chance? And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. Emmanuel Agbadu. And they stopped them in their tracks. Incisive pass. And there it is. All in the melting pot now. And what a finale we could have in store for us. Schmidt. And danger averted, well read. A chance maybe from the wide position. The referee blows for full time, it ends at a victory for the home. Weren't totally convincing, but they showed a lot of fight. And despite having less of the ball, they had enough quality to win this game. Good performance in the end.
warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And what we're getting ready to bring you is live action from Liga. It is Rennes, and they take on Toulouse. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Dunum. This could be troublesome. Well, trying the chip, but he got the execution all wrong. Well, if he had the chance again, I think he'd choose another option. Not even close in the end. Well, here's how Rennes will line up for this match. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4-4-2. And it can still be a very good system. But it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers. And the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations. Let's hope they play it well today. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Le Fay. And so the lineup for Toulouse. Well, 4 4 2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively, and if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, if they get any free kicks around the edge of the penalty area today, Derek... Oh, it's developing nicely for them here. It must go in, surely. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. Terrier. Opportunity. The game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing, and now they sense victory. Well, it's a good looking position. Is there a goal in their future? Didn't seem to be much on from that position, but he gave it a go. Well, he took the shot on from a very tight angle. That was always going to be difficult. He's a bit unlucky, really. Plenty of support here. Well, credit to him for the challenge. And a throw-in conceded. Aaron Dunum. Real chance. And the referee says penalty. This to get themselves back into it. And the keeper denies them from the spot. Who's going to get on the end of it? Danger averted for now. Space on the flank. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Looking position, you've got to say, and quick thinking defensively. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? And take it away. Dunum. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own, but they took care of the situation defensively. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Amin Guiri. And the whistle is sounded for... Away they go again. Second half is underway here.
Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. I'm trying to switch the play, but overcooked. Benjamin Bourigeau. Terrier. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. Well read to put an end to that attack. Good-looking move. Dunum. Good movement. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. Superbly read and executed. And given acres of space to attack here. And blocked for now. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. And did just enough defensively. Went in strongly, decisively. Terrier. Pivotal moment defensively. 20 minutes to go. Now getting the ball forward. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. And a throw in forthcoming. Well, the hosts, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But what they've done with it has been really good. Oh, hang good. on, Stuart, it's a chance. And there it is. Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Good tackle, take it away. Vincent Sierra. Not getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Well, we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. So a throw in here. Trying to open them up. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Moving the ball forward with purpose. It might be. Really had to make that save to give them a chance. Well, great save, but now they have to create a chance of their own. Not long left now. Well, the goalkeeper made it look as though there was no pressure on him whatsoever. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Sierra. And that will be all for this game. Defeat for the visitors, that's the big story. Well, Derek, not...
atmosphere and a grand occasion. One the players and fans... Hello and welcome to the city of Leverkusen. The venue for this game is the Bay Arena. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's Bayer Leverkusen and they take on Wolfsburg. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. The fans are shouting, shoot! Who can he pick out? Opportunity here. It's a perfect challenge. The lineup for Leverkusen. Edmond Tapsoba plays alongside Jonathan Tarr in central defence. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Opportunity. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Klojek. And play halted, free kick given. The cross is on. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. Tomash. Skipping away. Good defending in the end, and danger averted for now. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Václav Czerny. Read it well. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Chance for the leveller. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Well, they're creating chances. They now just need to take one of them. Mind you, what a save that was. Yes, they just have to make sure they stay defensively compact here. Schick. Amin Adli. Oh, that's fine defensive play. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Václav Czerny. Granit Xhaka. Incisive pass. Oh, magnificent reaction. And over comes the corner. Just the clearance that was needed. Well, not giving him any breathing room. Thiago Tomas. He continues his run. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident. And not giving the opposition much of a look in. possibilities in the centre cuts it back what an important piece of defending now they have possession in a good area of the pitch Granit Xhaka and no more time left that concludes Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. And still an opportunity. Well, it looked so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Well, I have to say, that was a fine save, which just about keeps this game alive. 
teammates available. Could put one back here and a fine stop. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. Great opportunity. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Kaminski. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. Oh, genuine chance. And up for grabs off the keeper. Four marks to the keeper. Well, what a reaction from the goalkeeper. Such a good save in the end. Really getting stuck in. Unable to hold on to the ball, Leverkusen. Oh, in with a chance! And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Granit Xhaka. Now with Tapsoba. Schick. Jaka. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Well, they no longer have the ball. Václav Czerny. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Oh, tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. Can they convert? Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Granit Xhaka. Xhaka with it. Now well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Jakub Kaminski. No foul play, says the referee. Lovro Maya. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Well, the fans believe there's hope here. Can the players respond now? And a throw-in coming up for Leverkusen. Well, no excuse to give the ball away from your own throw-in. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Granit Xhaka. The clock is against Bayer Leverkusen, but they're still in this. Xhaka, this could level it. But denied by the keeper. And at this late stage of the proceedings, it could be highly significant. Well, it could be a huge moment, Derek. So little time left now. And a decent save, full credit. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the... Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time.
Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson and looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga it's Wolfsburg and they face Köln well thanks Derek as always the scene is set two good teams a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere it has all the ingredients for a really exciting game and a look at the Köln starting 11 well, it's a fairly standard 4-4-2, which you don't see that often, but it does have its strength, particularly with the front two they've got playing today. Oh, Stuart, they've got to score! Keeper getting the touch, and he gobbles up the second chance! Disappointment for the keeper! No wonder he's asking questions of his defence! Thiago Tomas. Wonderfully weighted pass. A glorious chance. Oh, that is an outrageously good stop. Well, great reflexes from the keeper. He did. Is this the moment? Oh, great block. Svanberg. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Zelke making progress oh he looks threatening but a good piece of tidying up well the outcome is a free kick here really fine piece of defending play to break us up Well, it's a decent-looking attack, this. Can he take advantage? And what a magical save it was! Can he deliver it with accuracy? And that was goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. It's absolutely remarkable. His reflexes were brilliant there. And possession lost by Wolfsburg. Can he finish? Straight forward for the keeper. Continues his run. Has eyes for goal! Well, after that attempt, gobbled up by the keeper. And the ball with Christensen. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. But attacking possibilities. Excellent block. Real chance. Another block. Zelke. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. And support available. He'll take this on. A gift for any goalkeeper. Well, no surprise there. Cohen have been in complete control over the last 15 minutes. And they've created chances. But they just haven't had that end product. You just get a sense that equaliser is coming. Here's Christensen. It needs an accurate cross. Oh, yes! As pure a header as you're likely to see. And he ought to be very proud of that one. Very quick thinking there.
Oh, he's given the ball away. Well, there we have it. Half time here. So back underway here into the second half. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Tomash. Can they take advantage? And that is offside. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, they weren't at their best, but with that equal... Can't miss, surely! Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Played over. Just wanted to get it out of there. Now in a more than decent position. Terrific block. Can they forge ahead? Well, the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Well, he's given it away. And teammates to play it to. Could be threatening. Tremendous block. Here's Christensen. Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Trying to deliver it accurately. Danger still on. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Well, it's a decent-looking attack, this. Takes the shot. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Czerny. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Zelke has eyes for goal and the goalkeeper's touch that was crucial corner kick awarded and let's see if this will help them add to the lead and couldn't quite keep the header down well he's attacked it well made decent contact but he couldn't keep it down enough could he now he must favour the cross Regained possession. Could be dangerous. And nicely over the top. Timely intervention. Opportunity in the wide area. Firing it towards goal! And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Ten minutes left for play. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. What to like about that pass. And coolly done despite the mounting pressure. Waldschmidt. Well, this game is far from over. They'll probably get one more big chance before the end. The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to that noise. And he could really get at the opposition. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser. Oh, last ditch defending at its very finest. Determined defending. Well, behind for another corner. Oh, my goodness, you've really got to praise the defending. That was top notch. Determined defending. Bodies forward and the break looks on. And that puts him in position. Just needs to steady himself. And not cleared away properly. 
Well, no damage done. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home... It was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. anywhere in Europe we are in Dortmund famed of course for the famous yellow wall I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson 
And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It is Borussia Dortmund and they face Köln. Thanks, Derek. Well, both... Can he put it away? And what a magical save it was! Played over. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. And that's an important intervention. Zabita. And the ruling is offside here. And they have possession again. He has teammates around him. Nice looking move, this. That was going in. A very effective challenge put in. Allaire. Sound piece of goalkeeping. shot but off target well as you said off target when really that should be hitting the back of the net that's a golden opportunity and it's a quality pass it's a corner who can he pick out aware of the threat solving the problem Well, the pass not finding its target. Jaden Sancho. Here's Christensen. It is going to be a Dortmund free kick. Aller. And offside it is. Could be dangerous. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Is it going to be? My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Now sending it in. And still dangerous. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Well, it wasn't superb distribution by the keeper, that we can say. Jadon Sancho. Must be four marks to the keeper. Well, what a reaction from the goalkeeper. Such a good save in the end. Can they convert? Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. It's a well-struck pass. Oh, nice ball over the top. Launched into the penalty area. And a goal to seal the hat-trick! A masterclass in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Nice weight on the pass. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. a good looking ball can he put it away oh yes it's gone in and now a chance for them to revel in the moment the referee's whistle and so the first the second half restart here at the home of Borussia Dortmund The referee blows for a foul. Well, 
Well, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? Jaden Sancho. And failure to keep the ball by Kern. Allaire. He's got to score! Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Shabbat. Nice looking pass. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Marcel Zabitza. Incisive pass. Well, they've really turned this into a contest. Momentum now with them. Davy Zelke. And passing it well. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Might be a chance to break. Yusufa Mukoko. Well, offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. Read that pass all the way, cutting it out. And passing it through. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. Oh, another one for them! And with plenty of time still remaining, this game is very much back on! Well, continuing with the game, and you just sense the momentum may well be with the Schwarz-Gelben. And support available. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. And space here on the flank. Zelke couldn't grab hold of it. Superb stop. And over it comes. And a goal! They've added to the lead. Much needed security. Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. And a throw coming up after that authoritative challenge. And as a play it goes, throw in coming up here. Waldschmidt. And winning it back. Yusufa Mukoko. Timely intervention. Well, they might be able to launch a counter-attack. Well, it could be on for him here. And there it is! That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. And given away by Dortmund. It's got to be! And a goal this time! Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. And just one minute of... Well, there goes the final whistle. And it's all gone with a better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening and they played really well. What a performance that was today.
do I feel like I linger? Linger between the words to say, eh? To say the words to remember. Now we're here to take control over your body and over your soul. We're gonna take back everything and lose it all. Hello and welcome to the city of Leverkusen. The venue for this game is the Bay Arena. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's Bayer Leverkusen facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant... He must finish! Well, what a stop it was! Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent save. That's a top-class piece of goalkeeping. Shaping to shoot, and a goal! An early boost for them, the first goal of the game. They're off and running. Well, no stopping him, but timely defending when it mattered. And quick thinking defensively. Decent position for Dortmund to be in. And great work to confuse the defender. 
An effective challenge. Ezequiel Palacios. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. And he read it well, intercepting it. Xhaka. Sheik. Spot on with that tackle. Can he find the right pass? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Opportunity. And nicely parried away. Emphasis on the clearance. A good one. Well, what on earth happened there? Phil Krug. Sancho. On to Zabica. Oh, could be! Well, couldn't put it away. They still lead, however. Well, he really should be working the goalkeeper there. It's a great chance to score. Borja Iglesias. Schick. Wasteful from Dortmund. Nicely cut out. Now he must favour the cross. He needed to get there and did, but still the possibility. Fulkrug. Granit Xhaka. Intelligent threaded pass here. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Oh, big opportunity. Oh, that is an outrageously good stop. Well, great reflexes from the keeper. He did brilliantly there. Could still be dangerous. Well, the first half story has been written. So into the second half, Borussia Dortmund hold the advantage, but it's a long way from being done and dusted here. That's a good looking pass. And a goal here for Borussia Dortmund. Can they be stopped? Just the challenge that was required. Chances on. And the keeper's technical skills there for all to see. Well, from that close in, that's a really good save. Such good reflexes. Phil Krug. Opportunity here. Jeremy Frimpong. Possession seeded by Leverkusen. Yusufa Mukoko. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. Schick. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Fulkrug. Giving it a try, and the keeper able to hold on to it. Ezequiel Palacios. 
And that was a very fine read. A really good pass. It comes to absolutely nothing. Yusufa Mukoko. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Mali prevented it from going over the line. Throw in here for Borussia Dortmund. Amin Adli. Possession one. Takes the shot. Chance maybe. And the attack fizzling out. And support available. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Granit Xhaka. And given away by Leverkusen. Phil Krug. Allaire. Well, he was a long way from goal, but that didn't seem to bother him. Well, he won't strike a football much better than that. That certainly had the keeper worried. Ta. Borja Iglesias. Chic. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. He succeeds in clearing it. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. That'll be a Leverkusen ball. Pressure applied. Can they make something of it? Allaire. And having a go! And fired against the crossbar. And off the bar that time. The end of the game then, official. It was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. The seasons come and go like thoughts of you Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue They change but in a cycle that I can lose Each painful but delightful to live through you came into my life just like another season Not for long, just a time, just like another season Maybe this time next year you'll reappear for no reason But I'll cherish every day until you come my way this season
just like another season Not for long, just a time Just like another season is palpable. Hello and welcome to Northern Germany. We find ourselves here at the Volkswagen Arena in Wolfsburg. My name is Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It's Wolfsburg. It could be. Oh my word. There's excellent timing for you. What a challenge. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Well, it's 4-4-2 against 4-4-2. You don't see that very often these days. But I'm sure they're oh, going to see... Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something here. Well, for Dortmund, there is quite a lot of running room. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Able to skip past his man. He has teammates around him. Zabica. Determined defending. Vimmer. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. This could be the equaliser. Oh, a challenge that simply had to be won. Yusufa Mukoko. Good use of the ball as they look to extend their lead. Borussia Dortmund have given it away. Oh, this is looking promising. Can he make it count? And a goal it is. But offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just offside. Great decision by the assistant. Not the pass he had in mind. And continues his run. Cutting the ball back. 
Is it going to be? Oh, magnificent save! Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. What reactions from the goalkeeper that was. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Tomáš. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Oh, that's splendid play. Can he take the chance? And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. It is a decent-looking attack here. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. It might be the moment to get them ahead. And very deftly cut out. Sancho. Oh, big chance. Oh, great goalkeeping. Well, that's a top quality save. Great anticipation. Pressing like that will help the cause. And playing it through. opportunity a smart stop here well just listen to these fans they're urging their team to real chance oh my goodness me well don't try that at home without practice 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 breathtaking goal he read the situation defensively and did his job A textbook interception. Surely. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, underway once more. And it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Possession seeded by Dortmund. Promising sequence. A fine reading of the situation. Phil Krug. And hit with ferocity. Well, actually, pretty easy for the goalkeeper in the end. Here's Phil Krug. Krug. Could reduce the deficit, and he does. There is hope for them, despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, away they go again. Borussia Dortmund still trailing, but the belief is back. And he's through here. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Moving into the advanced position. Not a bit of an unforced error. And it's going to be a throw. Phil Krug. Nice weight on the pass. This looks interesting. In it goes to alter the arithmetic and give them hope that they can turn this round. And he has options available. An effective challenge. And passing it through. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. Opportunity. And a goal! 
They've added to the lead. Much needed security. Lovro Meyer. It did look on for them, but not to be. Oh, big chance. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. And Dortmund committed to getting forward. Can they grab a late winner? But timely defending when it mattered. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And the counter-attack came to nothing. And playing it through. And he could cash in. Oh, it's astonishing. One of the greatest comebacks you're ever likely to see. And now the question is, can they see this out? Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Marcel Zabitza. Well, the fans are certainly playing their part here. Just listen to this noise. He's in behind. How about this for drama? All even once more. Astonishing. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. And that is it for the 90 minutes. Level pegging here.
The stage is set and the tension is palpable. 90 minutes. And hello to you from the metropolis on the River Mine, the city of Frankfurt. We're at the Deutsche Bank Park. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It's Eintracht Frankfurt up against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And here's the starting 11 for Frankfurt. Well, on paper, it looks a rigid 4-4-2, but watch out for the rotation of the wide players and the forward runs from the central midfield players. They could be a handful today. And here's the starting 11 for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Well, it's the basic 4-4-2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? And still an opportunity. He's blocked it. Corner kick played in. And taking care of the situation. Winning the ball high up the pitch. Great example of it. Good tackle. Nice weight on the pass. Shot blocked, but still alive. Oh, that's splendid play. And taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. See Batcher. And Frankfurt come away with it. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Van der Beek. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Takes on the shot. Well, I gave him the big build-up, but the keeper has it comfortably. Hugo Ekitike. Ekitike. Top class defending. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Determined defending. Big chance. Oh, a superb save. And over it comes. Smuggled away. Donny van der Beek. And Kunku. On to van der Beek. And Eintracht regaining possession. Defending. See Batcher. piece of last ditch defending well there it is that's going to do it so they get the ball rolling in the second half even Steven here so little to choose between the sides just the challenge that was required
Here's Larson. Sasha Kalajic. Great defending here. Van der Beek. Can he do it? And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Patrick Herrmann. looking pass oh surely oh superb save massive credit to the keeper well he's so hard to beat in these situations it's brilliant goalkeeping who's going to get on the end of it well, the referee allowing the play to flow oh he's lost possession Able to close down the shot. And the ruling is offside here. Ko Itakura. Now with Elvedi. 30 minutes left for play. Well, Gladbach have it again. Moving it forward. Has eyes for goal! Well, on a good day, that might have gone in for the equaliser. Yeah, I agree. That was half a chance, I would say. But they still trail here. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And it took a little nick before it went over the touchline. So a throw in here. And space for them here on the flank. Options in the middle. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Twenty minutes remaining. And he did well to cut it out. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Van der Beek. Well read to ease the pressure. Well, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. See Batcher. Well, great read there to intercept. Tuta. Well, what an atmosphere we've got inside this stadium. The fans are driving the players on here. Surely they're going to hang on now. Niels and Kunku. Real determination and the challenge. A throw in here. You've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. And that will be all for this game. Defeat for the visitors, that's the... Certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance.
simply have to focus on this man. And hello everyone from the far western part of Germany. We find ourselves at the Borussia Park in the city of München Gladbach. I'm Derek Ray and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. Stuart, tell us about your pre-match thoughts. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Moving into the advanced position. Oh, he's through here. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Joe Scally. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? And he's in. And a fierce effort, but not accurate enough. Well, as you said, he went for power, but he's just off target. A bit unlucky, really. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. They need to get tighter. Just couldn't get it through. Delivering it. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Is it going to be? An alert piece of defending. Well, they know they need to stop him. He's blocked it! He's driven in the corner. Oh, a really good header. But the goalkeeper there to cover up. Not increasing the pressure, another corner it is. And it's in! All square again! What a match this is turning out to be! Skipping away. As ice for goal. Well, the keeper is happy, the bar was there. And eventually into the grateful grasp of the keeper. Well, that could have gone anywhere once it hit the woodwork, but they've got away with it here. Grifo. And quick thinking defensively. Onoha. Merlin Rhone. And the pressure was sustained and coordinated. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Who's going to get on the end of it? Committed challenge. And a lot to like about this attack. Gladbach couldn't retain possession. And he did well to cut it out. Doan. And so the first half is in the history. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. See Batcher. Oh, managing to beat him. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Yeah. 
effective piece of pressing. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field, and I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Gregoric. And passing it well. To jump in front. Effective challenge. Long way out this. Oh my goodness, what a strike from so far out. Absolutely sensational. Unstoppable. Can he find the right pass? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. And into the last 30 minutes now. Useful looking position, you've got to say. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Vifo. Stopped a surefire goal. Nice ball over the top. Eggestein. Doan. Eggestein. What a block! He read the situation defensively and did his job. And he has options available, but really sticking to the task defensively. Lukas Hörder. Oh, that's a really good run. Grigovic! He's blocked it! They won't complain about having won the corner, and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Well, a pass like that has got to be spot on, and in the end it wasn't. But into the keeper's gloves. Ritsu Doan. Ten minutes left for play. Lukas Hörder. Now the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. by the keeper and nothing wrong with that free kick either well they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner now too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat a lot of pressure applied can they take advantage can he take advantage oh it's in and that might be the goal that clinches it for them no looking back now surely Determined defending. He's got to have a go here. Well, it takes confidence to try your luck from that sort of distance. Well, I have to say that was a really good effort. He struck it so cleanly. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone. I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out.
Hello from the Red Bull Arena in Leipzig, just across the Elster Basin from the plush Kotteweg training facility. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. What might we see today, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, it looks to be the same system here, so it's just a case of which team presses the ball better and which team can get their wide players into more advanced areas. There are some good matchups here. Kevin Kamper. Paulson. Can he put them in front? Yes, is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Lucas Hörner, really good attacking play. Must be! Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. High pressing and good high pressing. Well, they're doing their best to get on level terms here. Well, it's a decent effort, but they're still trailing. They need something special here. Possession one. Determined defending. He's driven in the corner. And a goal! to square the game into the seat stuff well they stopped them in their tracks feeding it through and tossing through might still be able to do a bit of damage well Leipzig were unlucky there mind you what a great save that was by the goalkeeper Kevin Kamper, Paulsen, Leipzig moving the ball forward, what can they do from here? Oh. 
Well, no stopping him. A oh, nice ball over the top. Well, I'm not sure the keeper particularly wanted that, but danger averted for now. Oh, breezing past him. Textbook defending inside the box. Ball's gone. He has teammates around him. And the ball back with Leipzig now. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Gregoric. Opportunity. Crucial piece of defending. Nice weight on the pass. And keeping it out. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Was it a great clearance? Can they take the lead? Is this the moment? And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front! Well, the referee indicates that we've reached the... Well, the ball is moving again. It's advantage Leipzig after the first 45, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. And out of play it goes. Disappointing pass. Kevin Campbell. 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 And it's gone in. The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Very quick thinking there. Hull. And this is Grifo. Merlin Hearn. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Ikoma Luis Openda. And in the right position to read it. Will he play it in? A poor cross, all things considered. It's a corner. Oh, he'll take it on. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. And now having a go. And he's done well to tip it over the bar. Corner again. Just too much lost. Paulsen. Disappointing for Leipzig to give it away like that. Now, what can they do from here? Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Kevin Kampel. Openda. Good work to regain possession. Decides to shoot. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Who can he pick out? And he clears the danger. 20 minutes to go. He's in here. A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Lukas Hörer. Gregoric. Well, no stopping him. But they took care of the situation defensively.
Aydara. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking it to come, you would think. Merlin Röhl. Ritsu Doan. Leipzig come away with it. And great work to confuse the defender. And in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through. Electing to shoot. Well, the keeper in position to prevent another goal from him. Well, he's a massive threat. That really could have been his second goal there. Vital intervention. Clearly took a touch on the way out of play. So a throw in to come. Eggestein. Leipzig with the ball again. Ikoma Luis Openda. Leipzig unable to retain possession. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Could be threatening. And that is the end of the contest, and not a happy... ...picture of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what, though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now.
I feel like I linger. Our cameras on one man. Well, if they get any. And a warm welcome to Frankfurt, the home of the Deutsche Bank Park. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga. It's Eintracht Frankfurt, and they take on RB Leipzig. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice that... A glorious chance, and a goal! 1-0, and what a fast start they've made to this game. Hugo Ekitike. Paulsen. On to Van der Beek. Klostermann. David Raum. In possession, Yusuf Paulsen. Not made it look routine, but read it well. Intelligent threaded pass here. Oh, could be goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. Van der Beek able to close down the shot. Raum. Good move in the making from Leipzig. Aydara. Real chance. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. And now Larson. Oh, nice ball over the top. Shown inside. Oh, big opportunity. And that was goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. It's absolutely remarkable. His reflexes were brilliant there. Could reduce the deficit. And he does. There is hope for them, despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Must score. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Eki Tike. Well, using the space really well. But now can they push on? Leipzig with acres of space out wide. Aydara. Can they convert? Oh, my word. There's excellent timing for you. What a challenge. Paulsen. Options in the middle. Aydara. It has to be. Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Larson. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Van der Beek. No high quality defending. Paulsen. Must be. Well, misfiring without any shadow of a doubt. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Well, nearing the half-time interval, and suffice it to say, they're not making great use of home advantage. Stuart, your assessment? Well, they can certainly play better than this. It's been a disappointing first-half display from them. But if they can just play with more urgency and energy in the second half, they can get back into this. They definitely have the quality. Well, there it is. The first... Well, the ball moving again, with Leipzig very much in charge after the first 45. Will the pattern be the same in the second half? Openda. And he's made headway. 
on his own with only the keeper to beat but he's missed it Stuart well he went for power but he didn't make the perfect connection that's why he's missed the target there could be threatening well even marginally offside is still against the law yeah and he just needs to hold his run for a fraction longer and he would have been in on goal given away by Leipzig well a joy to watch well this looks really productive what can they do from this position well disappointing end to the move Aydara can he put it away he'll be breathing a sigh of relief ball one Eintracht with the ball again. And passing it through. And there it is! Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Attacking possibilities for Leipzig. Here's Larsson. Sasha Kalajic. Now breaking at pace, potential danger. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Powerson. Oh, surely. And you just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. And just over the crossbar. Well, good delivery and decent contact, but he just couldn't get over it, could he? Collins now. On to Van der Beek. A good effective pressure high up the pitch. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Aydara. Big chance. And that was goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. It's absolutely remarkable. His reflexes were brilliant there. Well, they're going for the short one. Textbook defending inside the box. And a throw in here for Leipzig. Benjamin Henrichs. Well, no stopping him. Well, he knows what he's doing defensively. It's a weighted pass. Nicely timed tackle. Oh, nice ball over the top. Larson. Well, I have to say, these fans have been excellent. They still believe they're going to get back into this. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Can he finish them off? Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. And after all that, the keeper clutches it with glee. Well, no wonder he's relieved. That was so close, inches away from a very good goal. piece of challenging if you're wondering about stoppage time one minute to be added on and there goes the final whistle much to the disappointment certainly not their best performance was it just a little bit off the pace for me and obviously a disappointing result but the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance
come and go like thoughts of you Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue They change but in a cycle that I can't lose Each painful but delightful to live through You came into my life just like another season Not for long, just a time Just like another season Maybe this time next year Season. Prior to this gargantuan clash, the floodlights are shining down on the players here at the Borussia Park in the city of Mönchengladbach. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And we have live opportunity, full marks to the keeper. Well, what a reaction from the goalkeeper. Such a good save in the end. And cuts inside. An alert piece of defending. And here's the starting 11 for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Well, it's oh, a fair... Stewart's a chance! And a goal it is! No long wait for the opener today. Just the challenge that was required. Really good build up, but no end product. Paulsen. Leipzig pushing forward with options available. He cuts it back. Oh, surely. And fine goalkeeping. Guadio Cone. Could be threatening. Real chance, and you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Individual brilliance. Good defending in the end, and danger averted for now. Paulsen and he stopped them in their tracks he's in here and the keeper really reacted brilliantly well from that sort of range it's a great save I have to say Kevin Campbell He read the situation defensively and did his job. Aydara. On to Paulsen. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. And able to get a body in the way. And possession lost by Gladbach. And he's in. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Paulsen. Surely. Well, he tried to place that one. And given his proximity to the goal, he's bound to be disappointed. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Trying to open them up. Oh, so close to opening up the defence. Maybe scope for Leipzig to add to the lead with this set piece. Playing it short. And Leipzig unable to retain possession. 
This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Read it well. See Batshu. Onoha. And he did well to cut it out. And there goes the whistle, the first time. And the second half is underway. Leipzig have the lead, but it's a long way from being settled. A glorious chance. And a goal! There he is, and the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Well, that wasn't a million miles away. Well, they're getting closer, but they need to take one of these chances. Aidara. Ikoma Luis Openda. Campo. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Able to get his body in the way. Resting like that will help the cause. Onoha. On the ball, Sibatcher. Went in strongly, decisively. This could be troublesome. Must be! And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form! Guadio Cone. Really good interception. What to like about that pass? And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. And the pass deftly cut out. Openda making a bit of headway. But a good piece of tidying up. Now they need to stop him. Could reduce the deficit. Oh, and it goes! Another goal! And I'll tell you what, the impossible is becoming quite possible. Guadio Cone. Really important tackle. Aidara. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. And support available. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Top class defending. Paulson. Really clever pressing. Camper, this could finish it! And saved by the keeper. Well, I think the fans are doing everything they can to get their team back into this. But can they find that moment of inspiration and get an equaliser? Very effective pass. This could level it. Oh, it's unbelievable! Who saw this coming when they were three goals down? And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. See Batcher. He's in here. And he takes it away. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. 
Aydara. And that is the whistle for the end of the 90. Nothing at all to set.
fitting backdrop for a game of massive significance. Well, it's always a delight to visit this corner of Spain. We've travelled to San Sebastián to the Estadio de Anoeta. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Real Sociedad, and they take on Sevilla. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Well, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? Simple catch, really. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, plenty of attacking width in this 4 3 3, but they'll need to get their midfield players to join the centre forward as much as possible. If not, he'll become isolated. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Rafa Mir. No, high quality defending. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Bryce Mendes. And pressing from the front. Takes the shot. Oh, fine stop. Keen to take it short here. Has someone to play it to. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Bryce Mendes. An important interception. Rafa Mir. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. And the flag does go up offside. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. And Nesiri. Well, couldn't keep it in. And can they exploit the space out wide? Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Subi Mendy. It's with Mikel Marino. Chances on. Doing well to win it back. What can they do from here? And he couldn't bag the first goal of the contest. Well, I can't believe he's missed the target there. That's a poor finish. Yusuf and Nesiri. Here's Mia. Getting forward. How simple for the keeper. Bryce Mendes. Takafusa Kubo. Subi Mendy. It's with Oyar Sabal. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. And the referees. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. And in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through. Surely, in it goes! 
the goal for 1-0 and that changes the dynamic Umar Sadiq useful looking position you've got to say well disappointing end to the move Mejbri Hannibal Mejbri good ball over the top wonderful chance oh the keeper made it look routine it was anything but they won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage high pressing at its best now well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick Abi Galan. And into the last 30 minutes now. Bryce Mendes. Chance to cross. Marino. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Overcooked that one. Wasteful from Sevilla. Well, couldn't bend his run, and the flag went up. Twenty minutes remaining. Distributing it well. A real opening now, and the keeper's technical skills there for all to see. Well, from that close in, that's a really good save. Such good reflexes. The save was a good one. It's one corner after another. Under pressure to get it away. Well, the players should be inspired by this. The crowd have really got behind them today. Well, nothing comes of it. Oh, he's given us away. And the referee allowing the game to flow, using advantage. But he's decided that no advantage was forthcoming, really. And so it's a free kick. Well, nicely cut out. Well, approaching full time, and this is wearing the look of Mission Impossible for the home side, Stuart. Well, they've certainly lacked a goal threat up to this point. There's been little invention, no real combination play around the box, and the crosses have been erratic. But there is still time to find that moment of inspiration. And playing it back. And a goal! They lead by two now. And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. There's the goal! Surely! Subimendi. Oyar Sabal. Played into the box. Not away completely. Well, the referee trying to play advantage there, but it wasn't forthcoming. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home... Derek, that was a worrying display. They were completely outplayed in almost every department. The coach has got a lot of work to do before the next game.
Welcome, it's a perfect night for football here in southern Spain at the Ramon Sanchez Pituan Stadium. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking of course about La Liga. It's Sevilla and they face Villarreal. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Rifled against the post, but back in play. And the keeper didn't have too much time. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, if they're going to play as a 4-4-2, they must make sure they stay compact out of possession and then stretch the pitch when they do have the ball. How they play in transition is going to be key today. And the pass deftly cut out. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Isaac. Nice weight on the pass. He's gone and found the net! 
piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Isaac. That's useful play. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. And offside, unfortunately. Anibal Mejbri. Villarreal doing well to regain possession. He's found a pocket of space. Giving them a different option, but... Oh, goodness gracious me! It's a special, special goal from miles out. Can't miss, surely! And that's easy-peasy for the keeper. Morales showing a real will to win the ball Isaac moving the ball effectively and beyond the byline goal kick then Good visualisation and execution. Is it going to be? Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. And credit due, a good intervention. That's a good-looking shot. Well, the goalkeeper's life wasn't made quite as difficult as might have been the case. Well, nearing the half-time interval, and suffice it to say, they're not making great use of home advantage. Stuart, your assessment? Well, they've been outplayed in this first half, and they need that half-time whistle to come soon, so they can regroup, change one or two things tactically, and come out with a better attitude in the second 45. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be... A... Well, he made great contact with that one, but the goalkeeper had his own ideas. Corner given. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Has a go. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Trying to pick out a teammate. And the danger's still on. And I think the threat has been averted. And he's through. In it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive and kicking. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. This could be troublesome. Gonzalo Gedge. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, what a first half he had. I thought he was outstanding. He calls the defenders all... Genuine chance. He's in behind. Oh, great goalkeeping. Well, that's a top quality save. Great anticipation. So the corner played into the box. And there is the goal. He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Now options are plenty. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Clean challenge. It's a fierce effort! Well, it wasn't quite as dangerous as I thought it might be. Isaac. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. 
And passing it through. Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. Pedraza. Well, that one has promise. Takes it on. A goal! He's dispatched it. Much to the sheer delight of the fans. Raul Albiol. And he has options available. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Oh, really careless. They might be in. A quarter of an hour remaining here. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Oh, great vision. He fancies it. Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Luca Bacchio. This attack looks highly promising, but nothing comes of it. Alexander Surlot. Can he finish? Huge block. On a very easy offside decision to make. Options in the centre. He read the situation defensively and did his job. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? The fans are shouting, shoot! Well, it was such a fluent attack, but they couldn't apply that finishing touch. Well, not the finish he was looking for, but there's another example of their ability on the counter-attack. Nicely timed tackle. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far be right Derek they really struggle to get to grips with the game they always seem second to the ball and then just a few mistakes at the back and it's cost them poor performance all round
local culture. Welcome to the Mestalla here in Valencia. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Valencia, and they face Villarreal. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of... And it's opening up, making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. Superbly read and executed. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, it's the same system, so it's very much about the individual battles. The team that wins more of those should dominate and win the game. And that is going to be a free kick. Duro. And a very good challenge. And it took a little nick before it went over the touchline. So a throw in here. This is looking threatening. That'll be a throw for Villarreal. Parejo. He's going to have a go here. Well, the keeper made the save pretty easily in the end. Duro. Yaremchuk. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. of Brazilians to shut them down distributing it well got in the way of it Duro can he convert oh did so well to deny him and they're going for the short one well, they have the advantage. That's good refereeing. Peter. Every pass hitting its target. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Teammates available. Well, he could run onto it here. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Really good, strong tackle, and it'll be a throw-in. What can he do with it now? Duro. Great opportunity. Oh, a challenge of the highest order. Morales. Well, that's an attractive passing move, but it's all about finding an equaliser here. Villarreal recovering possession well. Stop. He's driven in the corner. Was it a great clearance? Well, it came to nothing in the end. I must say, this looks promising. But they took care of the situation defensively. He has teammates around him. Can they square the game? Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Under real pressure here. Duro. No more time left. That will conclude. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Very effective challenge put in. The size to shoot. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save.
Now the counter-attack looks on. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Really have to get it spot on to finish from there and it was miles off target. Well, maybe not the right choice there. That's a poor effort. And Valencia in a position of menace. And a goal kick given. Fight. Gonzalo Getsch. A very good tackle. Crossing possibilities. What can they do to stop him running at them? A glorious chance. Oh, my word. There's excellent timing for you. What a challenge. What a brilliant pass. Safe pair of hands. Did his job. Gaia. Roman Yaremchuk. It's there for him. Raul Albiol gets in the way. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Fight. And the pass not finding its target. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Can they make it count? Really good build-up, but no end product. Space afforded him. A really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Peter. And there it is, a penalty given and a chance perhaps for them to finish this off. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. He cuts it back. Could pull one back here. Brilliantly blocked. And goes for goal! Well, not straightforward, but that was a chance to give themselves life. And it was close, but if they're going to get back into this, they need to score from those sort of chances. Into the advanced position. Must be! Oh, keeper dealt with it. Now, sending it in. Well, not cleared away completely. Well, no way through in the end. And that will be all for this match as the referee blows the whistle. Valencia... It was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today.
the prospect mouth-watering two teams up the peak of well it's always a delight to visit this corner of spain we've traveled to san sebastian to the estadio de anueta i'm derek ray and i'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by stuart robson and we're focusing on technically speaking one of the best leagues in the world i'm talking of course about la liga it's real sociedad taking on valencia well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's the lineup for Valencia. Well, on paper, it looks a rigid 4 4 2, but watch out for the road. Hang on a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. In it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations! Carlos Fernandez. Can't miss, surely! And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession! No wonder they're celebrating! Marino might be a chance here. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Trying to really get at the opposition here. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, no danger now. Strong but fair tackle. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick.
Traore. It's with Oyar Sabal. Still trying to make something happen. Terrific piece of anticipation. Carlos Fernandez. That's a good ball. Yaremchuk. Nicely timed tackle. Mikel Marino. Real chance. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Making progress, but the danger averted for now. Peter. Sadiq. And given away. Oh, this is looking promising. Good looking move. And the challenge crisp and clean. A really vital interception. Takafusa Kubo. Carlos Fernandez. And that was a very fine read. Duro. And given acres of space to attack here. Now will the cross work out for them? And he clears the danger. Big chance. And there is the goal. He's found the net. Joy unconfined. <laughs> As they get the ball rolling again interesting to see how this second half pans out space for Valencia to attack in the wide position but nothing comes of it good defending it was this might have potential Running with the ball confidently. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Duro. And teammates around him, but quick thinking defensively. Good vision. Well, what a stop it was. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent save. That's a top-class piece of goalkeeping. A foul, but advantage played. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free-kick situation? Can he finish this? Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Super tackle and they've won possession. A oh, very effective play and they won't. And a goal this time. Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Nicely cut out. 
Trying to really get at the opposition here. Oh, he squandered the chance, and he knows it. Well, it wouldn't have counted anyway. He was offside, but nonetheless, that was a poor attempt. Beautiful pass. Opportunity. Oh, right in the nick of time. Roman Yaremchuk. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, a disappointing end to that break. Just 15 minutes remaining. Sadiq. Oh, big chance. Well, he was on his own, but couldn't take advantage of it. Well, I'm not surprised he missed that. He never really looked in complete control, did he? And possession lost by Valencia. Having to shoot. He's blocked it. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. And drawing it back. This will be a Real Sociedad throw. Mikel Marino. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Umar Sadiq. And a very good challenge. Well, the seconds are ticking away, and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity. Oh, wait a minute. They could be in here. Defending of the highest class to stop him. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory. They were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening. And they played really well. What a performance that was today.
fantastic night for fans and spectators alike here in southern Spain at the Ramon Sanchez Pituan Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And on the menu for you, is it going to be? In it goes! An early goal! No wonder they're celebrating! Successfully cut out. And defensive play to be applauded. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Well, very effective play in possession. And it's opening up. Valencia pushing forward with options available. Will he find the net? And the keeper's hand does the trick. Corner awarded. Delivering it. Half-hearted clearance. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Oh, that's splendid play. Misfiring completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Well, he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. And in the right position to read it. Wasteful from Sevilla. And goes for goal! Well, the keeper did his job. Didn't really have to work hard, in all honesty. Not much time to make up his mind. And well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Pretty straightforward for the keeper. Hannibal Mejbri. Beautiful pass. Real chance. Brilliant save. Well, Sevilla have certainly been dominant, as those stats will tell you. They really have played well so oh, far. Oh, hang on, Stuart. It's a chance. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Hugo Duro. And he keeps going, but nothing comes of it. Trying to open them up. Is it going to be? And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Oh, superb skill. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. Oh, that's a fine save. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Peter. And the referee allowing the game to flow, using advantage. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So, off and running again. And there was a real gulf in class in the first 45. Will we see an improved effort from Valencia in the second? And passing it through. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. And cutting it out. Roman Yaremchuk. 
Oh, cheeky, you might say. Well, nothing about that chip was very positive. Well, I'm not sure that was the right option. It's a really wasted chance. And the danger's still on. Could be threatening. Being egged on by the crowd. And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Might really be able to trouble them here. But timely defending when it mattered. Isaac. Can he finish? Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Delivering it. Gives it a go. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Ball back with Sevilla here. And he takes on the shot. Oh, good work by the keeper. In a decent position now. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. And the decision offside here. 20 minutes to go in this one. Vital interception. The danger was very real. We're well, using the space really well. But now can they push on? Brilliant save. And the perfect position to read it. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Ten minutes left for play. Now the quick counter-attack could be on. Now well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Oh, terrific free kick. And how well the keeper did to parry it. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Smuggled away. Now, was that the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? Committed challenge. Trying to really get at the opposition here. And in the right position to read it. Oh, good looking run. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Oh, big opportunity. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely... A... And there goes the final whistle. Quite simply not to be for Valencia in this match. Nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got... So, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now.
awaiting two teams who like a warm welcome on a beautiful night to this magnificent new stadium the Estadio Metropolitano I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson and on the menu for you today live action from La Liga EA Sports it's Atletico Madrid and they take on Osasuna is it there for Morata oh a smart stop and to Budimir that's a good looking shot and a decent save full credit trying to pick out a teammate still possibilities well, mopping up defensively Koke oh that's a really good pass was a save Alvaro Morata, a wonderfully driven forward. And Stuart, you would have to suspect he's going to have something to say for himself here. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Decides to shoot. Determined defending. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Atletico get the free-kick decision their way. A tremendous vision. And that is offside. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Molina. Well, they need to get tighter. Morata. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Perfect tackle. In with a chance. And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. Failure to keep the ball by Atletico. He'll have a go here. Well, the shot looked promising, but the keeper had the measure of it. Griezmann. Savage now. And he read it well, intercepting it. Ruben Garcia. Still alive. And in the end, no damage done. Well, I still don't know how he kept that out, Derek. It's a fantastic save to keep it all square. Well, not out of the woods just yet. This still could be dangerous. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Molina. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. And a good tackle. Difficult to stop him. Wonderfully weighted pass. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. And nice. Showing a lot of guile there. And that is offside. And so it is. The first half has come. The beginning of the second half here at the home of Atletico in Madrid. possibilities here can they forge ahead from this corner kick let's see 
Well, trying his luck with the header, but too much elevation. Savage. Molina. Griezmann gets himself into the attacking third with the ball at his feet. And there the move ends for now. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. And it certainly wasn't his best half of football. He was slightly off the pace, and he gave the ball away too easily at times. But we know he can do much better, so I'm expecting more from him in the second 45. Oh, that's a really good run. Griezmann! And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Going short. And it's played into the centre. They've given it away. Toro. Oh, big chance. Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. Not really the ideal clearance. Moncayola. And the keeper there to deal with it. Now sending it in. Well, not the best clearance. Well, I don't think high marks are going to be dished out for that effort. Well, I can see what he was trying to do, but he just got it all wrong there. Individual brilliance. And slipped through beautifully. And the challenge, crisp and clean. Ruben Garcia. What can he do with it now? And defending as a unit. Hermoso. Riquelme. Saul. Well, that one has promise. And quick thinking defensively. And played the pass well. Can he finish? It could be up for grabs. And I think the threat has been averted. Savage. Marcos Llorente has it. Savage now. Riquelme. And here they come now, Atletico, looking for a late winner. But they took care of the situation defensively. Now well, Molina. That's a lovely ball. And he saw the situation developing. Saúl. Atletico being afforded too much room. Koke. Morata. Griezmann. And defensive play to be applauded. Wasteful again in possession. Morata. Can they forge ahead? The referee has decided to give the free kick to Atletico. Not out of the woods yet. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Good ball over the top. And so the referee brings the 90 minutes to an end, all even here.
Hello to you from a city synonymous with the running of the Bulls. We're here in Pamplona at the Estadio El Sadar. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It's Osasuna versus Barcelona. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, on paper, it looks a rigid 4-4-2, but watch out for the rotation of the wide players and the forward runs from the central midfield players. They could be a handful today. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Marc-André Ter Stegen in goal. Frenkie de Jong plays to take the lead. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. The free kick decision goes the way of Barcelona. Oh, what a goal! A tremendous strike. Hard to believe that he elected to take on that shot. Absolutely brilliant. Well, the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Now veering in field. Oh, how about that for a tackle? And that's really well read. De Jong. This is Robert Lewandowski. And threading it through. Able to close down the shot.
And out for a throw in, just misfiring with the pass. Able to skip past his man. Can he take the chance? And a big moment because the referee is pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. And this to reduce the deficit. A goal! Calmly taken spot kick. And hit with ferocity! Well, not a million miles away from the equaliser. Well, he couldn't quite get it on target, but at least they're making chances now. Oh, good skill, and he's managed to beat his man. Could be threatening. Just couldn't get it through. Surely! Oh, goodness me, off the post. And the move breaks down. Well, had that gone in, they would be in complete control of this game. As it is, they're still going to be a bit nervy. Well, a game of such fine margins, but let's see if they can create another opportunity. Really good challenge. Rewarded for that brilliant high press. Barca regaining possession. Excellent strike! And just wide of the post. Decent effort there. And to Budimir. Oh, good vision. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. And in the perfect position to read it. And the ruling is offside here. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. And passing it well. Well, there it is, the first half. So, back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Joao Felix, making sure it didn't get past him. Committed challenge. Moncayola. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Yeah, he's done okay in that first half. Oh, Stuart, they could be in here. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Still could be dangerous. And there is the goal! Well, that changes the equation, and they have the momentum now. And over the byline, goal kick coming up. Read it superbly to take back possession. This could level it. Oh, he's missed it! He'll be kicking himself! Well, the opportunity presented itself, and they really should be level. They have to be more composed, more clinical, if they want to get back into this. Lewandowski. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Aymar Oroz. Can he find the right pass? Oroz. Shaping to shoot. Well, it looked as though it had a chance of going in. Well, he should make the keeper work there, but you sense a goal is coming. 
De Jong. And he read it well defensively. They've regained possession. A oh, tremendous vision. He'll have a go here. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Well, it still could be dangerous. Thwarting him. And it's in. A goal for Barcelona. They are the team in charge. Gundogan. He's given us away. Lewandowski. Can he finish this? And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Well, racing past his man. And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. Joao Felix. He's in with a chance. Oh, couldn't beat the goalkeeper. And really should have been able to. And intercepts again. De Jong and hit with ferocity but the keeper takes charge and it was pretty straightforward and there goes the final whistle it's gone the wrong way as far as of the performance more than anything else they never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park tell you what though I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now
here on the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson and looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight La Liga it is Girona facing Barcelona thanks Derek well often we talk about the tactics the individual players players that are missing but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game which of these teams has the right attitude Joao Felix and the goal kick it'll be too much height on the shot and the starting 11 for Girona. Well, it's regarded as a negative shape. If they control the middle of the park, play some expansive football, the wide players can then come in field to join the centre forward, and the full-backs can push on. Let's hope they do that today. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Frankie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Making progress. And there it breaks down, but must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. And danger averted, well read. And the referee has given the advantage to Barca. Determined defending. Viktor Tsigankov. And given away. Felix will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead. And a goal! The opener in the derby for Barcelona. And that has silenced the majority in here. And in with a real chance. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. The supporters want to see him have a go. And up for grabs off the keeper. Well, thank goodness for the goalkeeper. Well, they're calm now, but that initial save was absolutely magnificent. Well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside. Big chance to get them on terms. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Frankie de Jong. That's useful play. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Playing it in. And he did what he had to do defensively. Intercepting it intelligently. 
and space to exploit maybe well it came to nothing in the end oh beating his opponent with ease and defensive play to be applauded The free kick decision goes the way of Barcelona. Frankie de Jong. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. And a time for cool heads. They've got it now, what can they do? And the goalkeeper's touch, that was crucial. Now Barcelona pushing to add to their lead. It'll be a corner. And fine goalkeeping. Growing pressure here. And another corner. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, they can bring it out now. Good visualisation and execution. Well, he had just gone beyond the last defender, Stuart. Well, that's a real shame because the through ball is really well weighted, but he just took too long to play it. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Was it... ...a denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity. If so, he's off. Good effort here, and a goal almost bewitching in its beauty, excellent technique. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Well, they've given him too much space. Great defending here. It's got to be. Oh, goodness me, off the post. And very deftly cut out. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he plugged away in that first half, making run after run without too much success, but eventually he got his reward, and what an important goal it was. Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and did it he just? He's taken on his opponent here. Teammates in the middle. Just needs to resolve the danger. Ivan Martin. Doffy. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Superbly read and executed. De Jong. Rafinha. And Barca exploiting the space on the wing. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. It should be! Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. Oh, might be. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. And stuffing out the danger. Joao Felix. Oh, great attacking play. He fancies it. And that's a straightforward stop. Ivan Martin. Artem Dogbik. Very quick thinking there.
Barcelona fighting against this overall situation. What can they pull out of the fire? Well, nothing comes of it. Well, what an atmosphere we've got inside this stadium. The fans are driving the players on here. Surely they're going to hang on now. Disappointing for Barcelona to give it away like that. Can he finish them off? That is how to keep it out of the net. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. Is it going to be? Oh, my word! Excellent timing for you. What a challenge. And there it is, the final whistle and the fan. It was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory.